About five billion dollars in property tax each year. Why don't you take it? Maybe that money has gone into redevelopment. There isn't one. I don't believe there's not one redevelopment agency in California that has terminated yet. Not one that has ceased existence. So they continue on taking that tax increment and using it, keeping it within the redevelopment agency. Now the 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 uh, reality, and, and as we know, redevelopment was an intent. It was intended. To be to address blight and promote economic development within a community. And in some places, it's done that very well. It also provides 20% of that money for redevelopment goes into housing, affordable housing. But some have come to rely on redevelopment funds as kind of an ATM to pay for city services, core services, including police and fire, which that money is not supposed to be used for. Code enforcement, and sometimes even the mayor's salaries they found. But let me take a couple of examples. One state audit found that dozens of agencies had failed for years to share the money with the schools and the counties as they had been required to do. Los Angeles County agencies shorted school services by at least $60 million in 2005. City of Industry reported to the state that it gave $2.5 million to schools in the county in 2006. The problem was that the payment should have been $21 million. Oh my God. When the auditors sought more information, 14 of the county's 74 agencies in LA did not respond, and 11 others admitted that they did not follow the law. The LA Times found that, uh, uh, that more than 30 cities spent most of their affordable housing money on planning administration. It's an, it's an opportunity to use those funds not uh, for what they're for, but to pay for the services of, of uh, city employees. At least 120 municipalities, about one third, one in three, with active redevelopment agencies, spent 700 million in housing funds in 2000 and 2008, without constructing one new housing unit. Spent 700 million dollars and didn't do one thing. Is that honest? Spending over three times as much as prevailing market rates to help a connected developer keep some housing at below those market rates. Long Beach, Oakland, and San Jose are among dozens of cities that have used redevelopment money to pay for the city staff, including police officers, the mayor, and the city council. Now, as you know, the money, the tax increment, is supposed to be is, is supposed to go into economic develop, development, and that's why the legislative analyst office, and I've got the report, talks about how redevelopment has failed in California. It has not created the jobs. It has not created the economic in income and impact. In the same, late, same way with, and I can go on, La Mesa, Rohnert Park sold city land to the redevelopment, no, redevelopment agency and used the proceeds to balance their budget. City of Grand Terrace in San Bernardino County, Montebello in LA borrowed 19 million for the redevelopment. City of Huron, uh, I mean, it, go, it goes on. The city of Isleton near Sacramento, they paid their bills with illegal transfers of redevelopment funds. So they're looking for ways to pay bills, and they just started grabbing money, the person from the city said. They just had hit it or started adopting budgets that weren't real. So, I, and so one area that the governor's talking about is eliminating redevelopment. The other is eliminating, eliminating enterprise zones. We don't have enterprise zones much in, Cal up in Northern California or in the Bay Area. But they do a lot in Southern California. And one of, just to give you an example of how, an how, here again, dishonest the process is. In Brisbane today, there's a company called VWR. It used to be Van Waters and Rogers. They're a medical supply, chemical distributor. They distribute, and, and they have 150 employees. The company was sold recently. The new owners um, felt that it's a high cost area that they want to move their location. They have determined they're going to terminate all employees, 150 employees. They're moving, I believe it's to Visalia, into an enterprise zone. The enterprise zone will allow them to hire new employees down there. And because they are new hires, they will get about $30,000 per employee from the enterprise. And they will get all types of assistance. So there is another area where the enterprise zone, you know, the idea is good. The concept is great. We need to do this. But that's another reason the LAO says, we don't, we haven't gotten what we deserve. We haven't gotten what we agreed to. We haven't gotten, they haven't performed as it was supposed to be done. So what we're doing is we're firing people here, hiring there, getting money for it, and everybody looks like they've hired new employees in California. Well, they didn't. So that's, again, dishonest.
And I don't think that's the way we want to see it. The other factor with redevelopment that I think has been dishonest is the fact that redevelopment agencies have had the ability to do things, create the redevelopment agency to move forward with the, the area that that tax increment would then be used for development with the goal that as it increases, that it will increase, it improve economic vitality, will get more jobs, it will create greater tax revenue in the long run. But here again, no redevelopment agency has gone out of business because they go for 30 years, 40 years. Some of them will be closing in the next 10 to 15 years. But many of them have gone on for so long to fund the bonds that were used to help development in that area. So we haven't seen any of the benefit that comes back to it. But when you create that redevelopment agency, you're diverting property taxes. And the diversion of those property taxes is diverted from. It's diverted from schools. It's diverted from county government to provide those services that are being cut today. The services that are that uh, we're talking about from libraries, because it doesn't come to the city as property tax, it goes into the redevelopment agency for economic development. So the dishonest part I see about that is only dishonest in the fact that, or it's not as honest as it should be. And I think what we're trying to create in California is an honest approach. We need to have the honest discussion, the honest discussion of what this community, any community, wants to prioritize for their dollars that they have. If economic development is the priority of this community, that community, any community, then they should be allowed to move forward with economic development, at knowing that the revenue will be taken away from these other services. If economic is not it, it, development at this point in time, and that's what the, the governor feels, we can't afford it today. We can't afford to extend this out for 20, 30, 40 years in the future. We need, people need help today. Our schools need help today. The seniors need help today. The unemployed need help today. So we can't go forward. That was the governor's thinking, and that's why he has wanted to have the honest discussion about redevelopment in the future as it moves forward. There's a billion, seven hundred million dollars that the governor in his budget has from redevelopment. He wants to to, by closing redevelopment, that money would then come to the state to fund education and to fund some of the Medi-Cal and some of the social services that are not being funded because of the redevelopment.